I always keep it on um, the full bike stand. Um, this is a very, very heavy um, highway motorcycle. The K100s are actually, actually the BMWs are um, very popular among police officers. Um, this bike will get up and go. It's a one liter engine. But uh, I keep it on the full stand because it's really easy to tip one of these bikes over. Um, it is a big, heavy bike. Um, and it's probably a five or six hundred pound bike and um, while the kickstand works it, it just doesn't take much to knock it over and it's an absolute monster to pick it up and it's a real good way to damage the bike so the better thing to do is keep it on the full stand it's really stable in this position and um, a lot less likely to be laying on the ground when you come back to it okay so I'm going to walk around the bike and just kind of give you guys a detailed view of everything that I see. Now, this is a custom mount for a contour point of view, first person view camera, and it is screwed into two existing um, holes that are designed for the flashing or flaring on the bike, so it's a good strong place to mount a camera. There is a screw missing right here. This causes this to rattle when the bike runs occasionally. When you're going down the road, there are other things that make noise. So the mileage is not accurate. This speedometer assembly is out of a, um, a smaller bike. I believe it's a K80. Um, the uh, speedometer assembly quit working on me, so I had to order one from the United Kingdom. The rest of the instrument cluster is original as I understand it. I did retrofit it with LED bulbs. There is a new fuel pump, fuel filter, and tank fuel hoses along with a fuel strainer that was installed recently along with the um, fuel level sending unit and the wiring harness. The wiring harness had deteriorated so I replaced it. This does occasionally wander down, and so you have to just kind of reach around and point it up when you're driving. Um, somebody more creative could probably fix that, but that's the way I got the bike, so I kind of kept it. At some point, somebody laid this bike down, and you can see a bunch of scratches here on the, on the um, side of the engine casing, a little chip missing out of it. Um, this is more than likely why this bike has a salvage title and why all the Tupperware is missing. Um, the bike runs fantastic and uh, I've owned it for four years. And uh, the reason I'm selling it is uh, I have carpal tunnel in both hands and just riding it makes my hands go numb. So unfortunately, as much as I love this bike, riding it's out, out of the question. These are you can see these, these tires have hardly any wear on them. You can still see all the nubs on both sides that are in place. Um, these are Metzger Laser Techs that I purchased uh, two years ago, and I had them installed, mounted, and balanced by um, uh, Houston Motorcycle Works on, in the Heights. Um, they were actually my neighbor. Great, great group of guys. Go see Tommy over there if you ever need anything. Um, I did retrofit the bike to LED indicators and also a, um, I've retrofitted the horn with something that's much louder. So now I'm going to uh, start the bike and just kind of run it through a couple paces.
it does, uh, if it's been sitting for a while, it will smoke for a couple of minutes when you first start it up. You know, it's a 1986 bike, it's 2017, that's 31 years. Not surprised. Um, if I had to guess, I believe the bike has about um, 60,000 miles on it, but that would just be a wild guess based on, you know, the odometer that was in it when I got it, plus the few thousand miles of usage that I've put on it. So the horn is extra loud. Turn signals do work. I needed to add uh, resistors um, on these LEDs to make the um, the bulb function detector uh, happy. Roughly 5,000 RPMs with no load. And uh, the purpose of doing that is just to show you that mechanically the bike is in fantastic condition. Um, you know, it's is really a very, very fun bike to ride. And that's about where I would put my mirrors when I ride. So. No issues with start stop. You do have to pull in the uh, lever on the clutch. So if you do notice, there's a little bit of steam coming off here. I did wash the bike prior to uh, filming this, and um, so that's nothing to be really concerned about. Thanks for watching, and I hope whoever purchases this bike enjoys it as much as I did.